Did you know that up to 90% of serotonin, the feel-good hormone, is produced in the gut? That's uh, the key that we need for our mental health and our mental well-being. It's produced in the gut. And we assume that it's our brain that's linked to our mental health completely, forgetting that there's a gut-brain connection. And according to the American Gastroenterological Association, up to 74% of Americans suffer from digestive discomfort, including gas, bloating, and constipation. Is that you? Do you eat and all of a sudden have ga gas and disruption and all sorts of symptoms that don't feel good? The thing is, that's most of us. Most of us are suffering with those. But Ayurveda has a profound toolkit to support us in building our gut health to be epic and awesome. I am Dr. Shivani Gupta. I'm an Ayurvedic practitioner and wellness expert focused on bringing the ancient wisdom of Ayurveda fused with modern science to help us all build the health that we want. I personally have had gut health issues my whole life. Since I was a child, taking really strong chronic antibiotics growing up, I always felt like I didn't have an immune system. And when I finally learned Ayurveda's approach to gut health, it changed my whole life. I could make a hundred videos on this topic because gut health is actually the key to all health. And so I'm excited for you in this video to learn about Ayurveda's toolkit to build our gut. gut. So stay with me. We're going to talk about gut brain access. We're going to talk about all the different tools, probiotics, fermented foods, and also some that you might not have heard about that'll help you with your leaky gut and different digestive discomforts that you've got going on. Let's start with the gut-brain axis. So the gut-brain axis is the vital connection that both Ayurveda and modern science prove is the most important thing that we focus on. The vagus nerve or the superhighway between our gut and brain is something that Ayurveda has talked about for thousands of years as being the vital thing we need to focus on to have mental health being, better cognitive function, brain function, and having the mood and clarity that we want. So what are the ways that we damage or disrupt the gut-brain axis? Well, the first way that we disrupt this connection is through food. A lot of times we're eating foods that are highly processed, inflammatory, maybe unhealthy fats, artificial dyes, artificial ingredients that lead to more harmful bacteria being created in the gut rather than a focus on that, dis that variety of healthy, good gut bacteria. This imbalance is called gut dysbiosis. And most of us have gut dysbiosis to some extent because of the number of factors that impact it. And the thing is, when we have gut dysbiosis, many of us also have more gut permeability, also known as leaky gut. And that issue can be this pervasive issue that's leading to a lot of the inflammation and issues people are feeling. The other big thing that leads to disruption of gut brain access is stress. When we're stressed, we're going to have a bigger release of cortisol in the body. And that cortisol is going to cause more damage to the gut, gut permeability, gut dysbiosis. So these factors, just food and stress, can have a tremendous impact on gut brain access. And what we need is the gut brain access or that super highway to be connected, to be healthy, to not be in fight or flight, but to instead be in rest and digest so that we're healthier, our brain fog goes away we can focus again, and our mental health and well-being is on point. So in this video, we're going to talk about stress, which I have a whole entire video on stress and mental health and anxiety that you can check out. And we'll talk about more of those foods that can support you in balancing a, a healthier gut and building a better gut overall. Next, let's dive into the topic of leaky gut in more detail or intestinal permeability. The thing is leaky gut occurs when the lining of our gut becomes thinner and has damage in it. And it starts to allow harmful toxins, food particles, toxins, bacteria to pass through the gut lining and into the bloodstream. That's a huge problem. It's not meant to go there. So all of a sudden you have this system-wide inflammation, autoimmune, the body gets really reactive and we start having these digestive disorders as well. So leaky gut is a big problem and there are several causes of it. I mentioned food and stress, but a third big one is environmental toxins. And we're surrounded by those. There's toxins in our water, our air, our food, everything that we make that's man-made, our skincare, the list is endless. So the insult to the gut lining is actually constant because of the level of environmental toxins around us. Not to mention glyphosate, 
which we know Roundup and all these herbicides and pesticides create damage to our own gut lining. That's why so many people now are gluten intolerant like myself. We're really just glyphosate intolerant and our leaky gut, which happens to almost all of us, can't take it anymore. So most of us are suffering with some level of leaky gut and our job is to heal it and then manage it ongoing. And that's where Ayurveda comes in. Ayurveda gives us a toolkit, not just for treating leaky gut, which it's wonderful at, I've used it a million times, but also prevention and then maintenance. That maintenance piece is key. And so from Ayurveda, we have a number of spices that are very healing and powerful. And the American Academy of Dietetics and Nutrition said that our spices like turmeric, ginger, cumin, and fennel are so healing that they can reduce digestive discomfort by up to 35%. I love the super spices from Ayurveda because they're so healing. So you can use these in your daily cooking as a way to help support you in better digestive health, helping your digestive discomfort, and help you have a better health overall. So here's the thing, gut health is going to be daily work for the rest of your life. That's just part of the game. We have to address gut health if we want the vibrant health that we all crave. And detoxification is a cornerstone of the Ayurvedic practice of supporting our gut health. Detoxing sound like it sounds like it's hard or like it's annoying or like it's a chore, but truly detoxification, according to Ayurveda, is when we're going to clear out those toxins that are causing gut damage, clear out all the things that are inflaming us, and help rejuvenate the body. The thing is, so many people are suffering with chronic digestive issues like IBS, leaky gut, chronic bloating, and different issues. And the thing is, we can use detox from Ayurveda as the perfect tool to get there. I like working with my clients on their elemental design and helping customize a detox that can be supportive. So detoxing can mean cutting inflammatory foods, but it can also mean adding in so many of those foods that are going to heal the gut lining and also incorporating lifestyle practices that you can put into your daily life that help detox you. According to Ayurveda, we have something called Dhinacharya, the daily self-care rituals that alone help you detox gently each and every day. So when you go to do that quarterly detox or annual detox, it's not so bad. It's not so tough because you've been doing gentle daily detoxing. So definitely check out my video on the daily self-care rituals to learn each of those in depth. They can be quick and easy, but so effective for you. And finally, the National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health that said that detoxing or cleansing practices have helped up to 60% of the participants reduce their digestive discomfort and symptoms. That's a big deal. If 60% of people just from cleansing were able to heal and support the gut health that they craved. So detoxing from all these environmental toxins that we talked about is really important. And once you do so, all of a sudden the gut lining can repair itself. The body can heal itself. Like I brought up earlier, that gut brain axis can come back into better connection and we've got better gut health overall. Next, I'm going to talk about probiotic foods and how they can support you in rebuilding your gut health and getting you to where you want to go. Finally, let's discuss the role of probiotics and fermented foods on improving our gut health. The thing is, we've talked about all the things that will increase our harmful bacteria, poor diet, stress, environmental toxins, all those things. But now let's focus on all those things that will increase the diversity and quantity of our good bacteria. Those come in the form of those fermented foods that many of us probably don't incorporate in our diet, and it's our job to do so. So I recommend going to the grocery store and starting with one at a time. Sometimes I buy all of them and then I start to hate them, so start with one. But start incorporating it into your daily life, into your weekly menu rotation, so that you're getting those fermented foods. And those can be anything. They can be yogurt, which has live and active bacteria, kefir, there's pickles. You can find pickles that have live probiotics in them. And I love pickles. Um, there's sauerkraut, maybe more of an ad adapted taste or it takes a minute to get used to, but you can incorporate into foods where you might not taste it as much. Sauerkraut is fermented cabbage. There's kimchi, which is a Korean cuisine. There's also miso. There's so many different fermented foods out there. Kombucha as well. So start incorporating that into your daily life every day, every other day. 
In Ayurveda, we have Lassi, which is a yogurt drink. It is the perfect cooling summer drink. It's just yogurt, ice, and salt, and some cumin. That's a salty Lassi. You blend it, and you drink this refreshing drink that'll rebuild the gut and support you in staying cool, calm, but also gut health on point. We have others as well in Ayurveda, um, like Ganji, a fermented drink, Italy and dosa, and things like that. So the thing is, incorporating these foods will help you rebuild that balance of bacteria in the body. And like we talked about earlier, gut brain access is key. So bringing that connection back online by reducing gut dysbiosis is our daily job. Our job is to maintain a healthy gut. And that takes investing time, money, and effort into these foods that you might not regularly eat, but can become part of your daily rituals. The thing is gut health is the center of all health. And so investing in that daily maintenance is the key to building the gut brain axis, healing the gut lining, healing that gut permeability, reducing those digestive symptoms that you may have and supporting you. And the World Gastroenterology Association said that incorporating fermented foods can reduce those disrupted digestive systems by up to 25%. So reducing those symptoms 25% just by eating fermented foods can be a game changer for you and you can start that today. Remember, in our modern world, it's not just about treating gut issues as they arise, because they're going to keep arising with the environmental toxins, stress, poor gut health, all the factors affecting gut health. It's not just about treating it with band-aids. It's actually about true prevention and then maintenance of that incredible gut health that we can all build. There are so many things we've talked about today, environmental toxins, diet, stress, but also the toolkit to win at your gut health probiotic foods, fermented foods, eating a healthier diet rich in fiber, detoxification from Ayurveda is another key to the puzzle. And by investing in these different tools, you can build gut resilience. You can build that reconnection of gut brain access that'll help you with brain health, mood, and everything else. If you enjoyed this video, definitely like or share it with someone who needs it. Subscribe to my channel for more Ayurvedic wisdom. I am obsessed with gut health and us winning at our gut health so we can win at our health overall. So join me in helping build wellness and vitality and us feeling incredible each and every day.